Now, you see, he's quite funny, Christy, and he's a bit of an old bruiser. I like him. I've known him a long time, and that was a funny gag. If you combine his humour and kind of pugnacious style with Vivek's energy and dynamism and charisma, uh, with the competence of DeSantis, you've got a very, very strong candidate. The problem is none of them have the other two components. And Trump, in his own way, love him, hate him, think he's the worst thing ever, all the greatest things to sliced bread, he has it all. And that's why, at the moment, he's steaming ahead. Yes. I would... Can I just jump here and make a couple of points? Um, first right. of all, yeah, I, I think on. it's worth noting, when you take a look at a lot of these post-debate polls, though, what you say about Vivek sounds like it's right, but when you look at how voters are actually responding, he's actually coming off very, very negatively to quite a lot of Republican primary voters. So I'm not sure yeah. that you're quite right about his charisma. I agree with you that Ron DeSantis does need some sort of charisma injection, for sure. Um, I'm not sure that him necessarily borrowing from Chris Christie is the best move, though. <laughs> I actually thought the Donald Duck line fell a little bit flat. I thought it was a little obvious. I didn't find it particularly humorous. Um, I also do think that DeSantis and Christie need to quit saying that Trump needs to show up at these debates, because one of the really interesting things, and we saw this in 2016 also, when Trump skips debates, other people move up, and his floor the absolute minimum that he's going to get actually goes down. That mm. happened after the last debate. I bet it's going to happen after this okay, debate. Let me, all right. Let, let me bring in Ben on so that. That does matter. Oh, yeah. no, I, I agree with you. Ben, here's the issue seems to me. Trump could well run away with this Republican nomination. It looks like he might. But if yeah. he does, a lot of independents have a problem with Trump. And you've got to win with the independents to become president. And it may be that no if Biden insists on running, that the only way the Democrats win that next election is if Trump is the opponent. Because the anti-Trump vote comes out, as you know, and the independents don't like him and they won't like all the legal stuff, that actually Trump may steamroll at everyone to get the nomination for the Republican Party and then actually lose again. Yeah, look, I, I think that there's two things here with Trump. It depends on if he can be a disciplined politician in a general election. And you'll probably laugh at the idea of him being disciplined. But look, he's been pretty smart recently. And I think he's starting to understand that he's got to be smart about how he talks for the same reason that you just said. Mm. If he talks about the here and now, and he doesn't take those loaded questions about the past and relitigating the past, and he talks about gas prices and interest rates and the economy mm. and securing the border and building the wall, he will destroy Joe Biden. If he is undisciplined, and he goes back and tries to litigate the past and say, I won the last election, he gets bogged down in that, you're right. There's a chance that Joe Biden could win. But Joe Biden will not win because he has the best set of plans for this country or ideas. He is a disaster, a stumbling, no, no, but he would win. He would win. down disaster. He would win because he's not Donald Trump. I want to end by getting all of oh, you... Oh, he'll also win. Well, hey, hang on, just... I've, run out, I've run out of time. Here's what I want to ask all of you, and I need straight answers. I want to have the two names for the two people that will face off in this presidential race next year. I, I want to have a name of a winner as well. So, Liz, you go first. Hmm. That's tough to say. It's really tough to say. Right now, the polling does suggest it's going to be Biden and Trump, but I have this sneaking suspicion that somehow it could end up being somebody like Brian Kemp versus Gavin Newsom or J.B. Pritzker, because I think both of these guys are so old and decrepit. All right, and well, you can't name, you can't name a lot of names. Die. They I might need, die. I need two names and a winner. Go on. Please. <laughs> okay, well, let's go with Newsom and Kemp. And I think in that uh, contest, I think Kemp dusts Newsom, and I'm a happy camper. Okay. Ben? I I'm just going to go back to reality. I'll bet you seats at Wimbledon because it's on my bucket list, Piers. It's going to be Trump and Biden, and no one else matters. And who wins? I think Donald Trump. I think Joe okay. Biden and what you showed earlier is going to be what you're going to see for the next year and a half. Remember, There's no, this no doubt about that. And by the way, there will be far more added to the greatest hits, too. Clay. Yeah. Two names and a winner. All right. I'll give you a fun one. I'll give you a fun one, Pierce. I think it's going to be Donald Trump. I think the Democrats are going to end up drafting Michelle Obama. Wow. And I think it's going to be Trump versus Michelle Obama. Wow. And Michelle Obama finds her way into the White House. She uh, would be she would be fan, she would Democrats. be amazing, but I Bear don't shoot her I, into the Democratic debates. Get ready. She'll come in at the convention. I I, I actually Clay and I agree on this. Well, she would be great. I, I think it's 
I think she would be great. I actually think she was. I, I think it. Biden is going to get so much worse physically that yeah. it's going to be impossible, and no, they'll I have a broken convention, Michelle Obama and they'll would have be, to find somebody new. Michelle Obama would be formidable. I think a really good candidate. I just don't think she'll ever do it. But we've got to leave it there. We'll find out. Thank you to my pack. I appreciate it.